to thank my members for their resilience and even the media for uh, staying with us for this long. This has been one of the longest uh, meetings. Uh, Governor, when I look at the functions and powers of county governments in the fourth schedule... Excuse me, Chair. Please don't forget to remind the Governor that he has not paid money for flock. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to come to that. When you look at uh, functions and powers of county governments, all those functions from number one to number 14, Nairobi County has got something to do with it, has got a function, has got a service to deliver. Unlike... Uh, some counties. You know, there are some counties without cinemas, without libraries, without museums, without parks and recreation facilities. And uh, Nairobi has to offer services from agriculture to liquor all the way to, I think it goes all the way to control of drugs and pornography. That is not a problem in some counties, but it is a problem and a demand in Nairobi City. And therefore, I feel, having sat in the Senate for this long, that we must agree on a financing and governance framework for cities that is distinct from the financing and governance framework for the rest of the counties. And uh, it is not just about uh, an NMS structure or talking about who the CEO of Nairobi should be, whether a politician or a bureaucrat. But Nairobi needs unique and distinct financing. And the division of revenue cannot deliver the resources that Nairobi needs for it to be a modern and world-class city hosting a United Nations headquarter. Governor, let's work together so that when you come before the Senate, we are not talking about retreats at unknown locations or contracts on unknown roads, or uh, weights and measures that should have been implemented a long time ago. I hope that we should be able to talk about green bonds. We should be able to talk about infrastructure bonds. Counties like Laikipia have been bold enough to bring a proposal to the Senate for approval for infrastructure bonds. We should be able to talk about climate financing and how you can use that the illustration you gave of footbridges that have to be constructed to allow children to move from one part of the city to the other to attend school qualifies for climate finance because those infrastructure improvements as, are as a result of climatic conditions and actions. That would be put in the books of accounts as climate finance. So there's a lot of money, but if we are still counting uh, pennies and cents, and if you are still talking about voided transactions and lack of reconciliation, I would really like the Senate to engage with the governor of Nairobi on bigger things, bigger ideas to unlock financing and bigger ideas to ensure that the people who live in Nairobi find it to be a hospitable and beautiful place. I came to Nairobi many, many years when the Kenya bus was working, when Kanjo schools were operating, when health centers were operating, and there were even Kanjo estates. What is it that our forefathers could do that we cannot do today? And we are better educated, and we should be richer now. It should worry us that in the past, the Kanjo of the past could even run primary schools and secondary schools. And for us now with ECDs, we are struggling. So members, I think having resolved that we shall have a different conversation on ROR and the NMS, we had also resolved that we need to visit a few projects within Nairobi City County. It is not enough for the governor to walk over to the Senate. I think to do project visits in Nairobi, we don't need a budget. We just get into our vehicles and we go and check out some of these water projects that the governor is talking about. That will enhance our understanding of the challenges and enable us to provide solutions. I want to thank everyone all the stakeholders, and um, Clark, we shall schedule, we shall agree on the next date for the appearance on ROR and the other issues. The meeting is therefore adjourned. We had a meeting scheduled for tomorrow. I think we have received a letter seeking for postponement. We shall deal with it accordingly. So the meeting is adjourned till Thursday, 9.30. Thank you. Because
because my colleagues were generous enough to donate their time. <laughs> Governor, sometimes you read the room. These guys have been here from morning. And it is not always necessary to put out uh, your view of your achievements at every point. Uh, I can assure you when Nairobi works, you will, it will not come from you. You will be hearing it from the people of Nairobi that uh, in Mbakasi South it is working, in uh, North it is working, in Dagoret it is working. So personally I would encourage you that uh, uh, some of these issues that you raise, uh, you know we have differences of opinion as to how well they are working, but I think it is within your right uh, to, uh, can I use the word trumpet or I will be ruled out of order, uh, some of the things that you are doing in order for the city to work. But when this city works, Governor, you will never have to say it, I can assure you because you will be hearing it from the people themselves. So I want to thank the members of the committee for their patience, because as the chair has said, uh, we have a, a very, very unique county here in Nairobi, and some of the stories that have emerged, uh, you can see uh, from, from, from the discussion that they are very unique, they don't happen anywhere else. And Governor, I think our responsibility as leadership is to paint the correct picture of the state of affairs yes. of the county of Nairobi so that we can be helped. When I'm trying to convince my colleagues here, and uh, I'm happy that this year we were in consonance, uh, to vote for higher resources to go to the counties, uh, they should be in the picture of some of these challenges that we're going through. Uh, if I am trying to convince a, a senator from Lamu that we are not the same, that uh, you know our electricity bill alone is, a, is, is equivalent to his equitable share, uh, then it helps when we paint this picture for everyone, for us to know the sort of situation we are in. Some of the discussions here, and you yourself have uh, admitted, there is just some embarrassing things that go on in our county that no one can be proud of. If you buy a machine that you know very well ha ha cannot fit in, the, in any of the premises you have, how do you explain that? So it is important for us to bring out the, the challenges we are facing as a county so that we can actually be helped. And specifically for this uh, committee, Governor, this committee has been extremely helpful to you and your county government. Uh, from the decision of NMS on pending bills, that happened before this committee. Uh, the question of uh, uh schools is happening in the conversation is happening in the Senate. Me and uh, you, the MP for Madare are sponsoring an amendment to the Education Act to recognize those schools so that you don't have an excuse as to why you are not feeding the kids in those schools. The question of Mama Margaret Kenyatta Hospital was resolved in our Energy uh, Senate Health Committee, uh, chaired by Senator Mandago. Uh, and of course the passage of the extra resources for this county. So uh, my encouragement is that you, you need to paint the actual picture. In Nairobi, nobody is going to be patient with you. It doesn't matter how many times you repeat that it's only been one and a half years. This is one of those counties that you build the boat as you sail. Because nobody is going to wait for you. At the end of the day, uh, somebody who requires those services, the roads, the, the medicine, the health care, He's not going to sit back and say, oh, by the way, our governor is still dealing with the uh, NMS problems. We must work on these progr uh, problems progressively as we move on. So for me, really, I don't want to speak further than that. Uh, we just hope that finally we will unlock the formula to uh, make sure that this city works. I thank you, Chair. Uh, just to conclude it is to thank my members for their resilience and even the media for uh, staying with us for this long. This has been one of the longest uh, meetings. Uh, Governor, when I look at the functions and powers of county governments in the fourth schedule, 